Morning campers, uh, big day today. Uh, today we're gonna paint the van, finally. Uh, it's been a long time coming. Um, can't wait to not be a white van man anymore. Um, I've got loads of preparation work to do, sanding, filling, whatnot. So less of the chit chat, let's get straight into it. Right, it's day two in the van. Um, did all the prep work yesterday, my mate Sam popped around. So I've got a little bit of sanding left for the roof and this side of the van. So yeah, let's do it. So yeah, whilst I got the camera out, I might as well just show you what I've used to get the van ready for paint. Um, these are just standard cleaning, finishing pads, scotch bright pads. Um, get these from any sort of builders, merchant, B&Q, Wix, home base. Um, or body shop, for that matter, they use them. Um, after you've sanded the van down, it's really important to get all the dust off. Um, you can just, I've jet washed it down already, but um, after that, just use a bit of panel wipe and just a microfiber just to get rid of anything. Probably the most important step because the dust can react with the paint and then you don't want to, you can get like a rubbish finish and um, yeah, that is key. Uh, the paint I'll be using is from Marcus Glenn. Um, specialises in doing military vehicles like tanks etc um, so this is a NATO green colour uh, with a satin finish Matt's really hard to clean um, once it's dirty so with the satin finish it's not a gloss finish but it just gives you that tiny bit of sheen and it's much easier to maintain once the paint's actually on the van um, so yeah I'm looking forward to seeing how that goes on <coughs> Where are we? To apply that, I'm just going to be using these four inch high density foam gloss rollers. So it's just what you'd use to do like skirting boards and whatnot. Don't go, don't cheap out on this. You can get some really cheap ones on eBay, but it's important to get good quality ones. Um, so yeah, hopefully these give me the finish that I want. Uh, I'm going to do inside the door shuts uh, last. Um, I was going to spray them, but again, that's just like more money, more masking things off and whatnot. Um, probably would give me a better finish, but I'm just going to brush them and see how they come out. Um, so I do just want to try and get rid of like every piece of white that you can see inside and outside the van. Yeah, I never attempted this, so I'm no expert. I'm just a keen amateur, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, let's get it. Yeah, sorry for the road noise off the main road here, it's pretty mental. Yeah, a little bit more work than I did yesterday. Um, Debadged the back and just filled and, and sanded with that back. And then I want to run um, shorter number plates that are off my old car. It's just that kind of little detail, that little bit extra that I think it looks a much cleaner look. Um, and I run a shorter number plate and I've got a personalised plate. So I filled in all the original number plate uh, screw holes. The print's been taped off and um, yeah, just got to sand the roof down and then we're ready for paint. So there you go, first glance. Um, actually really happy with that. Um, 
just wanted to do a patch at the top first, uh, just have a practice set to be honest, um, before I go on to do the rest of the van. I think I'm being a little bit too picky, um, putting on a little bit too thick on this first section, which is fine, that's what the first one's for, learning. Um, so yeah, I think from now on I'm just going to do a nice thin coat on the roof and then um, I'll catch up with you then. Still need to touch some of it up with a brush, but that is looking pretty much how I imagined it, so it's a pretty cool shot. Tomorrow get the rest of the van done and then hopefully should be able to do the two coats tomorrow. I'm going to get up nice and early and crack on. I've had a few other bits to do this morning, so I was a bit late starting this one. I'm getting pretty hungry now and the, and the light's fading, so I think tomorrow I shall just bang it out in one go. Um, and I'm just really looking forward to seeing what it's going to look like. I mean, the, the roof just looks fucking awesome. So, yeah, see you tomorrow. Right, that's the first coat done. Uh, I've done the roof, uh, everything else as well. Um, also yesterday, I uh, went round with a small little artist brush and just did like all the seals all around the doors and everything like that. Yeah, what I found um, works best for me is just, um, like a little bit of paint goes a really long way. So I think on the um, passenger side or driver side, no, the passenger side, I um, put it on like way too thick. I thought I was putting it on quite thin, but um, got a few lines in there, which I'll just quickly sand back. So I think I've got another like, two days of work to make it look spot on. Um, definitely taking me a lot longer than what I thought it was, but you know, I can't really rush these sort of things. And we've got decent weather as well for the next couple of days, so um, I think I'm just going to bash it out and uh, just take my time to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'll give you guys a little uh, tour what we've done so far. So yeah, all the little details I was talking to you about. So it's like, obviously you roll on onto the bonnet here, just like going around with the brush, doing all the little details like this. You know, all up the side of the van, up by the windscreen, round by the windows, round by the door handles. Also like the seals in the middle, really annoying, because like, the roller doesn't actually touch that. Um, so I had to get a little fine brush and I just went down here and then roll it over the top just to put the texture back in. And obviously you can see at the back here, you need to do like, inside the door shuts and everything like that. Um, but yeah, it's not looking too bad. So yeah, another little update. Just been doing all the door shuts, uh, just with a brush, like the back there, all around the top, and the side of it, inside the petrol cap. Uh, it's a lot more painting than what you think. <clears throat> so I've just bought uh, another five litres of paint as well, um, which is in the post that I get delivered sometime this week. Um, so probably it's a good thing it's going to rain this week, so I'm just going to wait for that to pass and then um, I'll crack on with it and I think my brother's coming over in like 15 minutes. Um, gonna help him build a planter for his strawberries. He's got like a mad strawberry obsession. So um, yeah, I'll probably be doing that for the rest of the afternoon and uh, pack up here. Um, so yeah, I'll uh, catch up with you guys when I put on the second coat of paint. All right. Bits are just showing up, um, and to be honest, I can't live with that. It would just drive me mental every time I look at it. So, do it once, do it right, I guess. So, uh, yeah, I'm just painting them with a brush. But yeah, let's get this horrible scratched up step that I've been looking at for about two years now sorted out. Real 
danger This world ain't simple But I'm strong, I know how to get out Right, I've had a few days off the van. Uh, weather's been pretty shocking to be honest and to be fair, the painting's just been doing my nothing. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's rained. It's a bit wet on top of the roof already. There's already uh, bird shit everywhere. Uh, I don't know how they're such good aim. How do you literally nail it on top of a skylight from wherever? So, <clears throat> if any of you have been following on Instagram, you see there's a pigeon that just seems to be scoping me out every day. And as soon as I open the... Um, the lid on the paint, he just like wants to just land on anything that I seem to lay down fresh. So uh, he's been giving me a nightmare and a little bit more sanding than I want. But um, I'm just putting the roof rack back on now. Um, hope it doesn't rain. Uh, my mate Smithers came round, helped me uh, lift the roof rack on top uh, without scratching all the paint up and stuff. So yeah, cheers for that, mate. And um, yeah, I'm just going to bow it back down and then uh, we'll see what it looks like after giving it a fresh lick of paint. So um, hopefully. Uh, it just like, sort of makes the van pop a little bit. Um, yeah, let's get it on. I'm strong, I know how to get out. And I'll find my way, cuz. Cuz it's love, real simple, and that's how it works. Oh, oh. Yeah, obviously fitted the ladder back on just so I can get the roof rack on so I'll take the ladder back off again now and um, get the second coat on the van, uh, finally. It's really nice but you don't understand So big it out cause you don't understand Yeah, it's the first couple of panels done uh, on the second coat. Uh, this time around, I just used uh, some TH25 thinners. It just thins out the paint and then just applies a lot easier. The temperature's dropped now. <coughs> I think last week we had a bit of an uh, Indian summer, but it seems to have just dropped off now, so... Uh, <coughs> the paint's actually drying after about 10-15 minutes of me pouring it in the tray. Uh, so, using the thinners and, yeah, you can see the colours just starting to pop now. And, yeah, I'm really stoked, it looks fucking sick. Yeah, that's the final result. Uh, there's a few tiny little touch-ups to do, but um, I can do them in my own time. Uh, but for now, I'm absolutely stoked with that. <laughs> I can't believe how well it's come out. <laughs> Obviously, there's a few things I didn't show on the camera, so I've repainted the front, gi uh, front, bleh, front, gill? <laughs> front grill, and I've uh, added the bonnet bra as well, just to tie in all the black at the front, to be honest. Um, also touched up the wheel bolts, because they're a little bit rusty, done them black as well. Um, same with the roof rack, uh, painted all the rusty bolts on top of there but if you ever think about having a go doing it yourself um, drop me a message or anything like that happy to help out and uh, I'll leave all the products that I use in the description as well uh, just to help you guys and yeah I think it's time to fit the air suspension whilst the sun's out so I'll see you guys in the next one peace